the era of the Great Depression saw an increase in the practice of religion. Why did this increase occur? Who was the major leader of the movement? As economic hardships continued to worsen throughout the 1930s, many people began to hold tightly to their religion. For them, conditions had become so miserable that their only hope was that something much better awaited them after death. Religion became an emotional stabilizer and helped many people through difficult times. Between 1929 and 1937, there was a sharp rise in all the Protestant denominations of Christianity. Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterians, Lutherans, and many other churches all experienced a staggering increase in membership. Catholic church attendance was on the rise as well. Several new religious organizations, such as the Jehovah's Witnesses, also emerged during the 1930s. Millions of people found comfort and safety within the church community. Historically, providing aid to the poor had always been a mission fulfilled by churches. Soup kitchens, food and clothing donations, and other relief efforts were all organized by various religious groups throughout the nation. One of the leaders of this new religious fervor was Father Charles Coughlin. Father Coughlin served as the priest for a Catholic church in Michigan, known as the Shrine of the Little Flower. He also hosted a radio program known as the Radio League of the Little Flower. As the 1930s progressed, Father Coughlin became one of the most listened to voices on the radio. In 1936, his radio sermons were broadcasting on 35 different radio stations. It was estimated that he had approximately 30 million listeners tuned in each week to hear his weekly sermons. This gave him much influence over the political situation of the era. Initially, Father Coughlin supported Franklin Roosevelt and the New Deal efforts. However, as time progressed, Coughlin became more outspoken against the president. Coughlin also utilized his program to attack communists, labor unions, banks, the Supreme Court, and many other political opponents. Father Coughlin announced the creation of a new political party, the Union Party, in 1936. He also announced that he would run for president as a Union Party candidate. His bid for the nomination was unsuccessful, but this did not diminish the influence Coughlin had over his followers. In the late 1930s, a group known as the Christian Front emerged. They claimed Father Coughlin as their inspiration, although he had no direct connection to the group. Thousands became members of the organization and started secretly conducting drills with rifles. Groups of fronters roamed the streets of major cities, attacking Jews and other groups they disliked. The FBI arrested 17 fronters in 1940. In the fronters' possession, the FBI found bombs, dynamite, weapons, and stockpiles of ammunition. The FBI claimed that the group had plans to assassinate prominent Americans and seized post offices and armories. Despite the evidence against them, the members of the Christian Front were acquitted of the charges and set free. 